Hi, welcome to Low Carb Cocktails. I'm Frank. Today we're gonna to make a spin on a Moscow Mule with a little Louisiana flair. But before I get started, if you wanna learn more about making cocktails more keto friendly and low carb, go ahead and click the little subscribe button. I'll wait for you. It's right there. Oh, and don't forget, click the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I put a video out. So let's go ahead and get started. As some of you know, um, I have partnered with JT Mellick. What I do is with them actually is I go out in the public um, at bars and yes, and here in South Louisiana, we do sell hard liquor in our grocery stores. Um, and I go to grocery stores and bars and we offer samples of JT um, to the general public so they can kind of find out what makes our vodka separate from everybody else's. Just so we're clear, they don't sponsor my YouTube videos or anything like that. I just really enjoy their vodka, so that's what I use in my videos. But recently they have contacted me and asked me to come up with a, a mule recipe that they can call their own um, and, and put a little Louisiana spin on it. So that's exactly what I did. Um, and we're gonna call this the Acadiana Mule or the Mule de Acadian, a little French for you guys. So what this is, is basically we're gonna build a Moscow Mule with a few other things. So let's go ahead and get started. In our shaker, I'm gonna go ahead and add two ounces of JT Mellick. There we go. I think I need a new pour. That's two ounces of our JT Mellick. And like I said, they asked me to do some uh, little cocktail creation. If you kind of see in the background, there's a couple of other ones I've done that made its way to restaurants and bars. And then from here, like most Moscow mules, we're gonna do one ounce of our lime juice. So for me, we do one ounce of lime juice. And again, keeping it zero carbs, we will be using concentrated. Uh, real lime is I prefer, but they were out of it, so I just actually just got the Walmart brand. It's not as good as real lime, definitely not as good as fresh, but fresh lime juice would add another two and a half grams of carbs to this. So, so far we've got zero grams of carbs in the vodka. Um, and really quick, if, um, if you're not seeing it yet, check out my review video of JT Mellick. Um, that was done prior to me partnering with them. So it's a, it's a really honest review about their product um, without any biases, biasness of me working with them. Um, but what I like about it, it's got a little sweet, almost vanilla note, maybe a little uh, buttercream. Um, and that's because it's made with Louisiana rice. They are one of only two distillers in Louisiana that I know of that grow their own products. So they are truly grain to glass um, in the entire process. They don't source anything out, they grow their rice, um, they distill their vodka with their rice. Uh, the only other one that I know of is gonna be Three Roll Estates in Baton Rouge. I believe they're owned by the Alma Sugar Plantation, so they get their sugar cane um, from Alma uh, for their rums and things like that. So, and if I'm wrong, please someone out there in the industry in Louisiana, please correct me. I'd love to know that there's more people doing that. And then from here, the next thing we're gonna do is some orange juice. Keeping it low carb, I am using the Trop 50. And two ounces is what we'll be using of the Trop 50. It's gonna have 3.25 grams of carbs. So doing a quick carb count really quick, that's two ounces of the Trop 50. Like I mentioned, to the carb count, it's gonna be zero grams of carbs on a vodka, zero grams of carbs on the lime juice, um, zero carbs on a ginger beer, we'll be using Zevia Mixer. And I have done a blind taste test on the ginger beer, is what makes the best Moscow Mule. You can check that video right here. Uh, Zevia came in second place next to Gosling's. Uh, but there are some more brands people kind of mentioned afterwards that I hadn't tried yet, like Cock and Bull. A lot, I got a lot of comments about trying that one, so there'll be another taste test video coming out on ginger beers. But we'll be using Zevia, zero carbs. So, so far, this all this is gonna have right now is gonna be um, 3.25 grams of carbs from the orange juice. And the last thing is Louisiana brand hot sauce. Use Tabasco, whatever you like, but personally, I find that the other hot sauces, the spice overpowers the flavor of the pepper. This has a really good balance of the vinegar, the pepper and the spice. None of them overpower each other. It's a good blend. Uh, that's why I chose to use the Louisiana brand. 
We're gonna get it with two dashes. Two dashes of Louisiana hot sauce. From here, we're gonna put some ice in here, or actually in our other one. Put this all together, and we're gonna shake this part of it. And we're done. So using that hot sauce is kind of where um, the Louisiana flares are gonna come in, besides the fact of using an amazing Louisiana vodka. Now we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a copper mug, and we're gonna go ahead and fill this with crushed ice. And we're gonna go ahead and pour this in. Now, what I like about this, using the mules, using a soda, is never top. You'll never have a consistent cocktail. One day you might use this mug, and you top this, you might get three ounces of ginger beer. Another day you might use a rocks glass, you might get two. Use a bigger mug than this, you might end up getting uh, five. So you'll never have a consistent cocktail if you don't measure your, your soda or anything else, carbonated you put on top, or anything that says top, just don't top. Measure it to keep a consistent flavor. So we're gonna do four ounces of Zevia ginger beer. There we go. And from here, our garnish. What I like to do is take an orange and a lime, and we're, we're gonna do it, and we're gonna do a half moon of each. And then a lime, just cut that in half, and then cut a wheel. And cut the wheel in half. And with a fancy Florida Lee cocktail pick, I'm gonna put those two together. And if you had a little red pepper, you could throw that on there too for your garnish. And there you have it in Cajun French. The Mule de Acadian, or we're just going to call it the Acadiana Mule. And for you who don't know what it is, Acadiana is a region of South Louisiana. Um, basically, it's South Central Louisiana. It's basically where it's where all the marshland is, where all the bayous really are. So most of the swamp land really in Louisiana is in Acadiana. So guys, let's go ahead and try this out, and I'll let you know how all this hot sauce, orange, and citrus play well together. Man, exactly like the last three that I made. This is amazing. You don't really get that really that spiciness up front. What it is is you get that 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 Moscow Mule, that orange juice just really adds to that citrus flavor. And then when you add the the hot sauce, you don't get that pepper burn on your tongue. You you get a little a little hint a little hint of a pepper on the palate but you get that pepper burn on the back of the throat. So it's the pepper's there more for experience than it is a flavor. It's, it's there a little, little bit. It's slight uh, as you're sipping it, but really the back of the, the, the top back of the throat is where you get that pepper and you can feel the pepper. You don't actually get to taste it a whole lot. So like I said, you just really get that pepper experience, not that burn on the tongue, which I, I really enjoy. So guys, as always, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good night, because when I'm finished this, I'm gonna have a fantastic night.